Hello, my name is Jean Tung. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist here at the Mayo Clinic. Today I would like to discuss an article published in Elementary Pharmacology and Therapeutics. Dr. Frivolt and his colleagues at the Children's Hospital in Munich, Germany, looked at their experience with exclusive enteral nutrition for pediatric Crohn's disease. Now, let me first explain what exclusive enteral nutrition means. I'm going to call it EEN for short for the rest of this time. For several weeks to months, a patient actually drinks formula such as Pediasure, Ensure, or Boost instead of eating a regular diet. They then gradually return to a regular diet. Now, sometimes people find it hard to drink the number of cans or boxes of formula that they would need to drink per day for all that period of time, so they actually learn to place a feeding tube down. Now, why would we ever do something like this? Well, it turns out it's a way to avoid using steroids during flares. We know that steroids have side effects such as suppressing the immune system, causing weight gain, moodiness, and osteoporosis. Now, if you look at studies of adult Crohn's patients, EEN doesn't necessarily work as well as steroids. It may be partly due to the fact that the patients were usually drinking the formula and ended up dropping out of the studies because they didn't like the taste of it. Fortunately, formulas these days are getting better tasting, and in the pediatric population, we are more likely to try and use tube feeding so you don't have to worry about the taste as much. Now, in pediatric studies, these formulas actually work at least as well as steroids without the side effects. In fact, compared to steroids, studies have actually shown mucosal healing, so that means that during a colonoscopy, they can actually show improvements in the tissue they also have seen improvements in inflammatory markers such as the, the sed rate and C-reactive protein. And these children are actually showing improved growth during these studies. Now, let's get back to the study. The main purpose of their study was to look at how effective EEN was in newly diagnosed patients and those who used it during a relapse. They looked back at their records with children with Crohn's disease that had received EEN they did opt to exclude patients that had either taken steroids in the last three months or had taken an anti-TNF agent. That's things like Remicade, Humira, or Simsia. To judge if the patients actually responded to EEN, they used an activity index designed for pediatric Crohn's disease. They also measured blood levels of the C-reactive protein and sed rate, and they also checked stool studies along with measuring the growth of these children. They ended up finding 52 patients to follow their records for at least a year and up to six years. Most of these patients had just been diagnosed with Crohn's disease, while a few others had just relapsed or flared. After EEN, 92% of patients were in remission. There was modest weight gain and set rates actually became normal. Now, some of these patients went on to receive a second time of EEN when they flared. In that second period, fewer patients, just 77%, were in remission 12 weeks later. Now, in the group of patients that were just diagnosed, about two-thirds of them were also started on azathioprine, or 6-MP. Those who were still in remission one year later tended to stay in remission when they followed them out up to six years later. However, they did notice that within six years, about 40% still had to go on to use an anti-TNF agent. Again, that's Remicade, Humira, or Simsia. In this study, younger patients seemed to do better, as did children who were in remission at the end of the EEN treatment. So in this study, EEN was highly effective at inducing remission in children with newly diagnosed Crohn's disease. It was not quite as effective for those who had a flare, but this was a small group of patients. Now, I would like to emphasize again that it doesn't replace our typical medications such as azathioprine, methotrexate, or Remicade. It's meant to replace steroids and the side effects of steroids. Now, not all GI offices are set up for EEN, but it is something you can discuss with our gastroenterologist. In the future, we will be putting up a video explaining EEN a bit more, some of more studies regarding research, and instruction with one of my dietitians. Look for that in the future. Thank you.